was uh, 2000 when I left for, for my education to UK. And when I reached there, I realized that I was not well. The doctors at the end of 2000 told me that I had to be checked. And after being checked, they told me that I had cancer. And I remember very clearly when um, he was told that he has cancer. It wasn't easy because by then I was just a young mother with two little children. It was very difficult, and especially when you are in a Poland country. But I had to put it in my mind that yes, I can do this. I can continue to be a mother and a wife and as well working. It took about a year or so when I went through the treatment and after that I left and went home. And I met some family members, friends and community at large with the same problem that I had gone through. The only unfortunate thing is the moment they were told they've got cancer, it took about three, four months and uh, they, they, they were not uh, really able even to fight that cancer and they would succumb to that problem. We decided that we are going to reach out to other cancer patients who are struggling. We started visiting them, we started calling them and then we realized that we had a big number. People are calling us, people wanted to come and see us and we thought we cannot continue that way. We thought we could build a lifestyle center where people can come, we can demonstrate how to do juicing, how to prepare a healthy meal. We can, people can come there, we can give them even free massage, somewhere that cancer patient can feel they belong. So 2019, we registered an NGO by the name Ebenezer Cancer Support Foundation. We feel that we need to be part of it because we are interacting in the community with people with cancer. Some of the people are so much, you know, down to the earth. When you go to see them or when they talk to you on phone, you can hear somebody is like, I'm dying next time, I'm dying tomorrow or any other time. They have no hope. I remember when the doctor told him that he has cancer. It wasn't easy. But uh, we managed, we talked to our children and himself and we encouraged him and we said he is going to make it. And when he started uh, treatment in 2002, uh, it was bad because I remember one night he called me and he said, you know, I don't think I'll see tomorrow morning. I remember I spoke to him and I encouraged him. It was very hard when he was go having a um, bone marrow transplant. So many people died because the doctors say it's 50-50. In fact, the doctor had given me two and a half years to live. I refused because I didn't imagine myself remaining single without a husband when I was too young. So I decided that I'm going to research and see what are the things that he can eat to boost his immune and things that he can eat to fight cancer. But now it's over 20 years since I was diagnosed and treated and here I am. I'm strong. I'm here to tell people that there is hope. He has really been there to pull up and say, yes, you can survive with the cancer. Yes, you can have hope. Yes, you can continue with your life as normal. But if you don't get somebody to encourage you that, definitely, definitely I know. Or we have come to see people are dying in the house just because they have nobody to talk to. We realize that reaching people, encouraging them, educating them that there is hope was something that would help our community. And so Ebenezer Can Support Foundation is uh, there now to support people, to know that there is hope. We came up with the idea of building a lifestyle center and the, our board, Ebenezer board, we agreed that we can go to Crime Mount Kenya one day 
so that we can raise money to build this lifestyle center. Some of us, we have done um, public health, we have done nursing, so all those, we are pulling those things together so that we can be able to encourage or empower somebody in the community who is feeling very low in mood. We have tried to reach donors, to reach people to support us, uh, that we can come up with activities that will help the community to learn or to be educated on how to change their lifestyle. Now, after, seeing, after finding that it was not easy, we thought we can also involve the community in a different way. And this was one way of climbing the mountain and telling people, come, come friends, come everybody, come uh, institutions, let us work together, climb the mountain, raise funds that will help us build a lifestyle center. And almost 50 people registered to climb Mount Kenya. And so people started even sending donations. And even now, people are still sending donations to Ebenezer so that we can be able to build this lifestyle center which will serve everybody. When we started, it was not easy. But uh, as we went on, some gave up and some went on trying. First time I felt so energetic. I said, yes, I can make it. I took some few snaps and I could see myself walking very vigorously. But I reached a place, I had two guards, and then told, they told me, if you get there at a place, you will have to take some water just to maintain your, your oxygen. And then I reached somewhere, I said, let me have a sip. Not much, just a sip. Do you know, by taking that sip, that's where I started feeling more tired. I said, I wish I didn't take this. I was so, so exhausted. And I could feel the ex ex exhaustion was coming from, like from here, going down. And then I felt something on my head. I was like, I, uh, I can't cope anymore. These guards were so good. They said, if you feel tired, let's sit down. The challenges that are here, Nimbali, <laughs> that I can't lie. <laughs> Nimbali, Nimbali, it's a challenge, especially climbing. Hey, no joke. Uh, we are here to support the Cancer Foundation, which uh, I think it's a good project that we are in. And I, I encourage the young generation, the, the, the me, the people my size or maybe older or younger, to do this more often because it's a good thing. In fact, it's a fun experience. Personally, I reached somewhere whereby it was like I was not going to go through. But I remembered, I promised some people I'm going to make it to the viewpoint. I must see the, 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 I must see the peak of Mount Kenya. So with that in mind, I had my colleague whom we worked together, Pastor Dr. Macharia. We encouraged one another and we kept going. Five steps, rest. 10 steps, rest. And finally we saw the peak coming from where we were deep. And then we said, wow, there we were. In fact, we were shouting, Ebenezer! Inspiring hope! Ebenezer! Inspiring hope! Ebenezer! Climb for a cause! Climb for a cause! Ebenezer! Ebenezer! Climb for a cause! to support my friends, uh, the Mativos, who have um, survived this disease for over, um, over 20 years, can you imagine? And so through their inspiration we are here to raise funds so that we can set up this center. And that's the reason I came. I've never had, not, never dreamt of coming here uh, on my own, but this has brought me here. So I'm climbing this mount for this course to inspire hope to those people who could be suffering from uh, this disease and cancer. After climbing, yes, I was tired, but I felt good because I reached to the mountain view and it was beautiful. I was there to support my husband and to show him that we are together. And I want to thank you all those who came to climb Mount Kenya with us. 
I tried my best and I was really, really looking forward to get to the few points. But <laughs> on the process, after one and a half hours of climbing them, that mountain, I was unable, I felt so tired. But with me, I was spiritually just praying, God, help, help somebody to see this kind of, you know, effort and somebody to bring or to come up with like yes if this lady you know as old as age this is she can be able to climb up to that why don't i part with my wealth and support this institution i must say that i was so happy because i achieved what we had already planned to and really that makes me feel good and i'm so happy that i had that team and I'm also happy that I have 157 people behind me. I'm calling upon them to keep coming, bringing their contributions, so that we can build this lifestyle center, which will help the community. Even those who don't have cancer, they need to realize that lifestyle change is the way forward. So we are also pleading with the people that they can come, support this cause, to be able to have a lifestyle center where everybody will be served. The way home, after success, I have made it.